Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was busy decorating his garage for a big party. When suddenly, the garage bell rang. A visitor! Mr. Monkey loves visitors, almost as much as he loves parties. Who could it be? Hot Diggity Dog! It's Mr. Monkey's friend, Little Doggy, in his wheelchair. Hello, Little Doggy, says Mr. Monkey. Are you here for the party? I sure am. I was so excited that I came early to help decorate. Mr. Monkey is happy to have some help. He gets his box of decorations and gives some to Little Doggy. Mr. Monkey's garage looks amazing. But just then, Little Doggy sighed. <sighs> what is it, Little Doggy? asks Mr. Monkey. Well, Mr. Monkey, it's just that the garage looks so fun and festive, and my wheelchair looks so ordinary. Mr. Monkey is surprised to hear this. He thinks Little Doggy's wheelchair is amazing. It allows him to get everywhere he needs to go. Mr. Monkey checks the wheels. Then he checks the brakes. He even checks out the seat. Well, everything seems to be in tip-top shape. Oh, my wheelchair is working fine, Mr. Monkey. It just doesn't have any... Pizzazz. Mr. Monkey wonders if there's something he can do to help make Little Doggy's wheelchair more exciting for the party. Off to his workbench. Little Doggy loves his wheelchair, but he wishes it was more festive for the party. Maybe Mr. Monkey can decorate Little Doggy's wheelchair. What kind of decorations does Little Doggy like? Well, Mr. Monkey knows that Little Doggy loves ribbons and streamers, but he especially loves balloons. Now Mr. Monkey just needs one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! Mr. Monkey is ready to get started but he wants this to be a surprise. Cover your eyes, little doggy. No peeking, little doggy, says Mr. Monkey. It's time for the balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. All right, little doggy, open your eyes. Wow! Little doggy loves his fancy new wheelchair. Whoops! Mr. Monkey may have used too many balloons. There, now little doggy is the life of the party. Another job well done. And just in time too, because it's party time! Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was working on his puzzle. When all of a sudden, the garage bell rang. 
Mr. Monkey has a visitor. He loves having visitors. Who could it be? It's Ms. Poodle. Hello, Ms. Poodle. Oh, Mr. Monkey. I've got a problem and I'm hoping you can help me. Every time I go to get my hair done, it gets ruined as soon as I drive away. I can't keep any of my fancy hairdos. My car just ruins them. Mr. Monkey thinks this is rather odd. Why would a car want to ruin a hairdo? Mr. Monkey takes a look at Ms. Poodle, then takes a look at Ms. Poodle's car. He checks the tires. He checks the engine. He even checks the windshield. Mr. Monkey has an idea. Miss Poodle, I think I may have a solution. Well, Mr. Monkey, I have a hair appointment. The car must be fixed by the time I come back, or else my hair will be ruined again. I'll be back by four o'clock. Mr. Monkey takes a look at the clock on the wall of his shop. The big hand is at the 12, and the little hand is at the two. That means it's two o'clock. So in two more hours, it will be four o'clock. That gives Mr. Monkey two hours before Miss Poodle comes back. He better get to work. Let's head over to Mr. Monkey's workbench. Ms. Poodle's car is a convertible. That means it has no roof. When cars have a roof, it covers what's inside it and protects it from things like rain and wind. But Ms. Poodle's car doesn't have a roof. So when it's windy, her hair gets messy from the wind. What Ms. Poodle needs is a roof on her car. And Mr. Monkey knows exactly what kind of roof to make her. He thinks this nice round dome will work. Then he's going to need some bolts to attach the roof to the car. Four bolts should do the trick. One, two, three, and four. Now Mr. Monkey just needs one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! Mr. Monkey is almost finished. All he needs to do now is add the bolts. One bolt. And two bolts. Oh, Ms. Poodle's gonna be back soon. Let's finish the job. That makes three. And finally, four. And not a minute too soon. Here comes Ms. Poodle. Oh my goodness, Mr. Monkey. What have you done to my convertible? Mr. Monkey wants to give it the ultimate test. Let's see how the dome works with some wind. It works. The roof is the perfect hairdo dome. Goodbye, Miss Poodle. Another satisfied customer. And with that, Mr. Monkey needs to get back to his puzzle. Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was busy balancing bananas, when suddenly, the garage bell rang. When the garage bell rings, it means Mr. Monkey has a visitor. Why, it's young Turtle. Hello, Turtle. How can I help you? 
Oh, Mr. Monkey, I've had no end of trouble with my bicycle. It's too tipsy and wobbly, and I keep falling off. I'd really like to ride it without falling off. No one likes falling, especially when it's so hard to get back up. Mr. Monkey, can you fix my bike so it isn't so wobbly and tipsy? Mr. Monkey takes a good look at Turtle. Then he takes a good look at Turtle's bike. First, Mr. Monkey checks the wheels. They seem the right amount of round. Then he checks the seat. <laughs> seems the right amount of bouncy. Finally, he checks the horn. Just the right amount of honk. The bicycle appears to be in working order. Maybe the problem isn't that the bike isn't right, but that the bike isn't right for Turtle. Maybe young Turtle needs a different bike to ride. Mr. Monkey has an idea, and you know what that means. Off to his workbench. There are three different types of cycles that people ride. Some cycles have one wheel. They are called unicycles. See, it only has one wheel. You need very good balance to ride one of these, as you only have one wheel to balance on. Some cycles have two wheels, like young turtles. Those are called bicycles. See, one wheel and two wheels. These can be kind of wobbly, and you need pretty good balance to ride one of them. But some people ride cycles with three wheels. Those are called tricycles. See? One wheel, two wheels, and three wheels. They aren't as wobbly, and they're a little easier to ride. They're perfect for beginners. There's a type of cycle that's just right for each person. Young Turtle is just starting to learn how to ride, so a bicycle might be a little too advanced for him at first. Mr. Monkey has a plan. But first he needs to gather some materials. Mr. Monkey needs a wheel, one pipe, and some nuts and bolts to put it all together. That just leaves one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! Young Turtle loves to watch Mr. Monkey work. He's wondering what Mr. Monkey is doing. Mr. Monkey has made the most amazing tricycle ever. It's a tricycle made just for Turtle. In fact, it's a turtle tricycle. And the best part, it has three wheels. One, two, and three. So Turtle won't fall down while he's learning to ride. Turtle loves it. He rides around and around and around and around and around and around and around. <laughs> Young Turtle is the happiest turtle ever. And his tricycle is the best tricycle ever because it's just for him. Thank you, Mr. Monkey, for my wonderful tricycle. <laughs> Another satisfied customer. And with that, Mr. Monkey swings back up to his hammock. Now let's get back to balancing those bananas.
Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was oiling the wheels on his skateboard, when all of a sudden, the garage bell rang. That means a visitor has arrived. But who could it be? It's Mr. Husky. Hello, Mr. Husky. Yo, Mr. Monkey. I was just getting a little exercise. Mr. Monkey sees that Mr. Husky has brought his sled. What seems to be the trouble? There's nothing I love more in the winter than pulling my friends on my sled. That sounds like a lot of fun, says Mr. Monkey. So what's the problem? Well, I'm not sure if you've noticed or not, Mr. Monkey, but it's summertime, so there's no snow. I can't pull my sled without snow. I see, says Mr. Monkey. I really miss pulling my sled. It's great exercise, and my friends love it too. Can you help me? Unfortunately, Mr. Monkey can't change the weather, but there might be something else he can do to help. Awesome! While you're doing that, I'll be outside doing my exercises. Mr. Monkey knows that sleds slide on the snow, but snow only falls in the winter, so he'll have to find another way to help the sled move. Now, what types of vehicles work well when there isn't any snow? Cars work well in every season, and you can ride bicycles in the spring, summer, and fall. Oh, and skateboards too. What do all those vehicles have in common? That's it, they all have wheels. That gives Mr. Monkey an idea. He'll need four wheels. Mr. Monkey better check his inventory. Oh no, he's all out of wheels. He used the last four wheels on his skateboard. Now he can't help Mr. Husky. Wait, that's it. He can take the wheels off his skateboard and attach them to Mr. Husky's sled. Mr. Monkey loves his skateboard, but he loves helping his friends even more. One, two, three, four. There, four wheels. And Mr. Monkey will need one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! One wheel, two wheels, Three wheels, four wheels. Mr. Monkey, my sled is sliding, but there isn't any snow. How did you do it? My mind is literally blown. Simple, Mr. Husky. I just added some wheels to the bottom. Now you can pull your sled all year round, anytime you'd like. This is amazing, Mr. Monkey! Now hop on and let's go for a ride! Hold on tight, Mr. Monkey! Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was weighing a big shipment of heavy banana crates. It's heavy lifting, and Mr. Monkey was having to work extra hard. Oh my, a visitor?
Who could it be? It's Captain Crocodile and his great big boat. Ahoy, Mr. Monkey, said Captain Crocodile. Ahoy, Captain. What seems to be the trouble? It's my boat, Mr. Monkey. It never stays where I leave it. When I sail out to my favorite swimming spot and drop anchor, my boat just floats away. I'm always having to swim after it. Captain Crocodile is a great swimmer, but it must be exhausting chasing that boat all over the bay. Mr. Monkey inspects Captain Crocodile's big boat. First, he checks the steering wheel. He checks the horn. Then he checks the anchor. Hmm, this seems like a small anchor for such a big boat. According to Mr. Monkey's scale, it's not very heavy. Hmm, Mr. Monkey has a big idea. So he swings off to his workbench. Now let's see. Captain Crocodile has a great big boat and a very small anchor. Anchors are meant to be big and heavy to keep the boat in place. Perhaps the boat needs a bigger, heavier anchor, one that's heavy enough to keep the boat from drifting away. Hmm, Mr. Monkey doesn't have a big, heavy anchor, but maybe he can make one. He'll need some heavy things and something big to put them in. One of those banana crates should do the trick. Now Mr. Monkey just needs to fill it with heavy things. Oh, and of course, Mr. Monkey will also need his trusty monkey wrench. Monkey has replaced Captain Crocodile's anchor with a bigger, heavier anchor. It's heavy enough to keep the boat from drifting away, but it's not too heavy for Captain Crocodile to lift. You've saved my boat, Mr. Monkey! And just in time for my afternoon swim! What's this? The boat won't budge. Well, at least we know the anchor works. That was definitely some heavy lifting. Now Mr. Monkey deserves a light snack. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was hanging out in his hammock. He had been working awfully hard lately and was looking forward to finally relaxing and catching up on his banana eating. When suddenly, the garage bell rang. That means Mr. Monkey has a visitor. I wonder who it could be. It's Mr. Sloth. Hello, Mr. Sloth. What can I do for you today? Mr. Monkey, my car is too fast. I need it to 
to go slower. Sure, Mr. Sloth. I can see if I could make your car go slower. Mr. Monkey was about to go get a better look at Mr. Sloth's car, when suddenly... Why, it's Ms. Rabbit. Mr. Monkey, you gotta help me. This car is just too slow. I got places to go, places to see. I gotta go, go, go. And this car just goes. Can you help me? Hello, Ms. Rabbit. I think I can help make your car go faster. First, let's get a better look at both your cars. First, Mr. Monkey checks the engines. They seem to be running in tip-top shape. Then he checks the steering wheels. They both seem to steer. Finally, Mr. Monkey checks the tires. Yep, they're both just the right amount of tiredness. Not too soft, not too tough. Well, now this is a puzzle. Both cars seem to be just fine. Mr. Monkey has an idea. Off to his workbench. Mr. Sloth's car is too fast. Ms. Rabbit's car is too slow. If only there was one fix that would fix both problems. One fix to fix them all. Mr. Monkey has a solution. But first he's going to need some supplies. Mr. Monkey gets a nice big piece of red fabric. Then he gets a nice long metal tube. Then he grabs some metal hooks and, of course, some metal bolts. Mr. Monkey is all set. He just needs one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! Mr. Monkey gets to work. Mr. Monkey is all done. A big red curtain? Mr. Monkey, it's a big, big, big red curtain, says Ms. Rabbit. That's right. Mr. Sloth's car was too fast for him. And your car, Ms. Rabbit, was too slow. So the one perfect solution to solve both your problems is you should be driving each other's car. Mr. Monkey, it's perfect. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Mr. Monkey. Super great job. Another satisfied customer. And with that, Mr. Monkey gets back to what he was doing before. Ah, just the banana eating break Mr. Monkey needed. This is going to take a while. <laughs> One evening, Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was getting ready for bed. He had just turned on his nightlight when... A visitor? At this hour? Who could it be? Who? Why, it's Ms. Owl in her hot air balloon. That's who. Oh, Mr. Monkey, I, I didn't wake you, did I? It's okay, replies Mr. Monkey. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> you see, we owls are nocturnal, which means we sleep during the day and stay up all night. So what seems to be the problem, Miss Owl? You see, Mr. Monkey, I love to go for night rides in my balloon. Now, I see very well at night, but others don't. 
bats and birds keep bumping into my balloon. Oh, no! Oh, yes. In fact, just tonight, a, a bird with a very pointy beak nearly collided with me. But that could pop your balloon. Precisely, Mr. Monkey. Uh, is there something you could do to make my balloon easier to see? Mr. Monkey takes a good look at Ms. Owl's balloon. It's very big. But it doesn't really matter how big something is when it's dark outside. Hmm. Hmm. Mr. Monkey needs to make Ms. Owl's balloon easier to see at night. What other vehicles drive at night? Cars and buses can drive at night. Helicopters and planes can fly at night, too. Now, what do all these vehicles have in common? Of course! They all have bright lights to help them see. And more importantly, to help others see them. That gives Mr. Monkey a bright idea. First, he'll need four flashlights. One, two, three, Four. And maybe some festive holiday lights, too. Oh, and of course, Mr. Monkey also needs his trusty monkey wrench! One flashlight, two flashlights, three flashlights, four flashlights. Mr. Monkey, it's very, um, interesting. But how will this make my balloon easier to see? Ms. Owl isn't quite sure what to think. Here, you better put these on. Mr. Monkey, it's magnificent! Mr. Monkey is very proud. Now everyone will see you coming, no matter how dark it is. Ms. Owl can't wait to try out her bright new balloon. Farewell, Mr. Monkey. Thank you for all of your help. Another job well done. <sighs> and now it's time for Mr. Monkey to go to bed. Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was sound asleep in his hammock, dreaming about bananas. When suddenly, the garage bell rang. When the garage bell rings, it means there's a visitor. And Mr. Monkey loves visitors, almost as much as dreaming about bananas. Mr. Lion has come for a visit. Mr. Monkey, I have a problem. There's something wrong with my Jeep. It just doesn't sound right. Mr. Monkey takes a good look at Mr. Lion's Jeep. First, he checks the engine. But it sounds like an engine should sound. It's not too quiet. Next, he checks the doors. But they seem to be making the normal sort of noise that doors make. They aren't too quiet. 
Even the windshield wipers make the right amount of noise. They're not too quiet either. This sounds like a normal Jeep to me. Ah, my goodness, Mr. Monkey. No, no, no. It's the horn, Mr. Monkey. The horn. Uh, allow me to demonstrate. Uh, it just won't do. Mr. Monkey gets an idea. He goes to his special box of noisemakers. There must be something in this box that will work. Mr. Monkey tries the first noisemaker. No, 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 it's just too clowny. Mr. Monkey tries the second noisemaker. No, 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 no. That one's just too bicycly. Mr. Monkey tries the last noisemaker. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Monkey, but that just isn't right either. It should sound something like this. Mr. Monkey gets an idea. An absolutely perfect idea. Off to his workbench. Mr. Lion came in because his Jeep wasn't sounding quite right. So first, Mr. Monkey tried the clown horn. But that was too clowny. Then Mr. Monkey tried the bicycle bell. But that was too bicycly. Next, he tried the giant horn. But that wasn't right for Mr. Lion either. Mr. Monkey has a plan. All he needs are some materials. One large sheet of metal, a piece of pipe and a square piece of wood, and six bolts. And of course, Mr. Monkey needs one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! Mr. Monkey gets to work. And now it's time to attach the bolts. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Mr. Monkey's work is complete. What is it, Mr. Monkey? Try it out. Give a roar, Mr. Lion. Mr. Monkey, this is absolutely perfect. Now my Jeep sounds just right. Another satisfied customer. And with that, it's time for Mr. Monkey to get back to his nap. That's better. It's a hot and sunny day, and Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, is relaxing in the cool shade. Poor Mr. Monkey. His bananas are too hot because they were sitting out in the hot, hot sun. Just then, Mr. Monkey hears bells ringing. Visitor. Who could it be? It's Mrs. Penguin. Hi, Mrs. Penguin. Oh, Mr. Monkey, you've got to help me. I've been trying to sell ice cream cones by the beach, but it's a hot day and my ice cream keeps melting. Nobody wants to buy ice cream soup. Mmm. It's ice cream, all right. Mr. Monkey inspects the vehicle to find the source of the problem. He checks the tires, 
the windshield wipers, and even the horn. Everything seems fine, so Mr. Monkey checks the temperature. There's a hot setting and a cold setting. Mr. Monkey sees that the temperature is set all the way to cold, which means it's on full blast. <sighs> Mr. Monkey can even see his breath. Of course it's cool now, Mr. Monkey. We're inside and the hot sun isn't shining down on my truck. Mr. Monkey swings over to his workbench to figure out this problem. Even though the cooling system is on full blast, the ice cream keeps melting because of the hot sun. How do we keep the truck out of the sun when it's at the beach? When Mr. Monkey goes to the beach, he likes to bring a big umbrella to stay cool in the shade. That gives Mr. Monkey an idea. Now, let's see. He needs four bolts. One, two, three, four. He also needs a round bracket and a beach umbrella. And of course, his trusty monkey wrench! Mr. Monkey takes the round bracket and fastens it with the bolts. One, two, three, four. And now for the finishing touch. Mrs. Penguin's truck has a beach umbrella. Now even under the hot sun, her truck will always be parked in the cool shade. Mrs. Penguin loves it! And now Mrs. Penguin has an idea. Here you go! It's Mr. Monkey's favorite treat, an ice-cold banana split. Mm-mm, delicious. Goodbye, Mr. Monkey. Stay cool. Goodbye, Mrs. Penguin. Thanks for the ice-cold banana split. Uh-oh, Mr. Monkey better get that ice cream out of the hot sun. Another job well done. Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was working on his afternoon painting when suddenly the garage bell rang. When the garage bell rings, it means Mr. Monkey has a visitor in his garage. Mr. Monkey loves visitors. Let's go see who it could be. Why, it's Mr. Chameleon. Mr. Monkey is always happy to see his friend Mr. Chameleon. Hello, Mr. Monkey. I just found my favorite red jacket. Funny thing, now I'm red. I was wondering, do you think you could paint my car red to match? That's one of the many fun things about Mr. Chameleon. Sometimes he turns the color of whatever he touches. And today he's apparently turned red. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I better be on my way in my bright red car. Another satisfied customer. Now that Mr. Monkey's job is all done, he can get back to working on his painting. The garage bell. Another visitor. It's Mr. Chameleon again. Only this time he's... orange? Mr. Monkey, would you believe it? I just found this bright orange hat. Only now, I'm orange. Could you paint my car orange so it matches? Sure, why not? Mr. Monkey can paint the car orange. Oh, that's just great, Mr. Monkey. Thank you so much. Now that Mr. Monkey's job is finished, it's time for him to get back to his painting. Whew. Hey, 
see, Mr. Monkey. I've got this pair of yellow boots. Yellow boots, Mr. Monkey. You do not find these every day. I don't suppose you could repaint my car yellow to match. A green shirt, Mr. Monkey. My favourite blue jeans. Look at my fancy purple tie. I've got my nice red jacket on again, Mr. Monkey. But uh, I was wondering, could you paint my car red again? Poor Mr. Monkey. He can't keep painting Mr. Chameleon's car forever. What can he do? He heads to his workbench to try and come up with a solution. Mr. Monkey needs to fix this problem, but what color can he paint a car when he needs every color? First, Mr. Chameleon needed his car to be painted red to match his red jacket. Then he needed his car painted orange to match his orange hat. Then he needed his car painted yellow to match his yellow boots. Then he needed his car painted green to match his green shirt. Then he needed his car painted blue to match his favorite blue jeans. And finally, he needed his car painted purple to match his purple tie. There must be some way to make Mr. Chameleon's car match with all the colors of Mr. Chameleon's clothing and Mr. Chameleon. Mr. Monkey's got an idea, but before he can get started, he's going to need his trusty monkey wrench. Whoops. I mean his <clears throat> trusty paintbrush. Mr. Monkey has done it. Mr. Monkey made Mr. Chameleon's car a rainbow. Oh, Mr. Monkey, I am so happy. Not only is my car red, orange, and yellow, but it's also green, blue, and purple. It will match everything I own. Thank you so much, Mr. Monkey. You've made my car absolutely perfect. Now that Mr. Monkey's job is done, he can get back to finishing his painting. Magnifique, Monsieur Monkey. See you next time. Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was relaxing in his hammock when all of a sudden, the garage bell rang. Oh boy, a visitor. Who could it be? Look, it's Mr. Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. How can I help you today? There's something wrong with my car, Mr. Monkey. Ever since I started driving it, my neck has been really sore. I think this car is broken. Mr. Monkey checks the car. He checks the engine, the tires, and the shocks. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong. In fact, this car is in tip-top shape. But there must be something wrong with it, Mr. Monkey. My neck is so achy. Mr. Monkey tries to get a closer look at Mr. Giraffe's neck. But Mr. Giraffe is very tall, and Mr. Monkey is much shorter. Let's see. Mr. Giraffe is very tall, but his car is not so tall. Mr. Monkey has an idea. He needs to find a way for the very tall Mr. Giraffe to fit in his not-so-tall car. First, he will need some supplies. He'll need one, two, three, four pieces of wood. 
and they are all the same size and length. He's going to make a square. A square has four equal sides. Like this. There. Now he just needs some bolts to attach the square to the car. Eight bolts should do the trick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Mr. Monkey is just about ready to head back to the car, but he's going to need one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! What is Mr. Monkey up to? Mr. Monkey is almost finished. He just needs to fasten the square down with the bolts. How many bolts did Mr. Monkey have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Mr. Monkey is all done. And he's very proud of his handiwork. He invites Mr. Giraffe to test it out. Amazing! Mr. Monkey, you've solved my problem. He made him a sunroof. Or rather, a giraffe roof. Mr. Giraffe's neck was hurting because he was too tall to fit inside his not-so-tall car. But now that Mr. Giraffe has his giraffe roof, he can sit comfortably without any more neck aches. Goodbye, Mr. Giraffe. Don't forget your sunscreen. And with that, Mr. Monkey swings back to his hammock to finish reading his magazine and eating his banana. It's Christmas Eve, and Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, is busy decorating his tree. Hmm, something's missing, but I can't put my finger on it. No! Oh, 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 dear. My goodness! What and who could that be? It sounds like it came from Mr. Monkey's garage. Mr. Monkey swings down to see what's happened. It's Santa in his rather broken sleigh. Santa? Ho, ho, hello, Mr. Monkey, said Santa. I'm in a bit of a sticky Christmas pudding, Mr. Monkey. My sleigh has had a tumble, and I need to get it up and running again for Christmas Eve, which is only a couple of hours away. Mr. Monkey, do you think you can help? Mr. Monkey takes a look at Santa's sleigh. First, he checks the outside of the sleigh. Then he checks the inside of the sleigh. Then he checks the engine. Finally, Mr. Monkey checks the headlights. Santa's sleigh is in need of some major work. And he only has a few hours to fix it. It'll take much longer than a few hours to repair all of this. I'm sorry, Santa, but I'm not sure I can fix your sleigh in time for your Christmas Eve flight. There's just too much for one monkey to do. Oh, no. Santa, what are you doing here? We well, heard a crash and came run, run, running. It's Santa. It's true. <laughs> Santa's sleigh needs to be completely repaired, and it's almost Christmas Eve. 
if Santa's sleigh isn't up and running, he can't deliver all his gifts tonight. I don't think I can fix the sleigh in time. Oh! This is just terrible. Oh, it cannot be. I think that sleigh is broken. Christmas will be ruined. Mr. Monkey, you might not be able to do it in time, but if we all help out, it will go much, 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 much faster. Oh, oh that's, that's a good idea. Easy. We can, can do the heavy lifting. Ms. Rabbit, you're right. Come on, everyone. Off to my workbench. If Santa's sleigh needs to be completely repaired, and we only have a few hours to fix it, one person won't be able to do it all in the time we have. However, if everyone pitches in, the work will go faster, and we just might be able to make it in time. The plan might work. There's just one more thing Mr. Monkey needs before he can get started. His trusty monkey wrench! Mr. Monkey, we've got to hurry. Let's do this, everyone. Time is almost up. Mr. Monkey, it's a Christmas miracle. I can't thank you all enough. Let's get this sleigh loaded and ready to go. I'm oh, we're really ready. Really, 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 really did it. Job, chaps. We just need to give you a little momentum, Santa and then you'll be able to take right off. Your milk and cookies, sir. Ho, 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 ho. Thank you, Turtle. You're a very good little boy. Thank you, one and all. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Thank you for all your help, everyone. It wouldn't have happened without all of you. Merry Christmas. Job, ladies. Really Sleep Merry tight, everyone. Merry Christmas. And with that, Mr. Monkey heads back up to his Christmas tree. What's this? To Mr. Monkey from Santa. It's exactly what was missing. Merry Christmas, Mr. Monkey, and Merry Christmas, everyone.